Hello and welcome back on my channel. Okay, so last week, if you remember, I showed you all the new stickers I created. If you want to see how I designed them and printed and cut all about the process, you can check out the last week video and today they are all here <laughs> and we are going to prepare for a shop update i want to do a shop update with all of these fall stickers but i also wanted to do to add some new at uh some new art prints and I thought I will show you how I uh, how I print them and like what settings I use, what printer I have, and what paper, all stuff like this. So yeah, other than that, we'll make a. <laughs> Cat is always with me. So later we will also make a photo shoot and and a shop update. Okay, so for our prints, I use I use like uh, mockups to show the art because it just looks better. It has a re really good quality, and it doesn't require so much photography. Uh, but I would like I like to print it anyway and see how they look uh, printed out and do at least one photo or two. That is scratching. Okay. Uh, yeah, I like to do at least one or two photos so uh, so people can see how it looks in real life printed out. So I guess this is what I will be doing in this vlog. So let me show you all about printing. I've already cho chose a few illustrations. Um, that I created in the last few weeks and the first one is actually uh, the one from today it's this girl for a prompt and uh, just woke up she turned out really cute, cute so I thought it would be great to turn her into an art print uh, I really like her hair it's a lo really lovely cor color and she has a really beautiful face so here's the first one and the second that I liked is this underwater scene. I just like all the colors and composition and it turned out really beautiful. So it would be, I would also like to see it as a, as an art print. And the next one is this uh, plants. They had a really lovely feedback on Instagram and I actually really loved them as well. So, uh, so this is the next one. And I also wanted to print one of these girls that I was creating for the portrait challenge. And I think I'm going to print this one. It's just one of my favorites. Maybe also this one. I need to think about it and the last two ones are this travel one they turn out so beautiful I wanted to put them as an art print long time ago but well I just didn't do this so I'm going to do this today I mean this week so this is the one with a with a camper van and the other was actually pretty long ago it's uh, it's the one with a couple hiking and walking in the mountains, so... I think I'm also going to do a sale of the art prints that are already like quite old in my shop. I like run a sale for a couple of days, maybe a week, and then just... Um, like delete them because there would be too many art prints. Kulai scratching on the door. I have no idea if you can hear that. But the door are closed because I'm filming and she doesn't like when the door is closed. 
I can open it, but she won't just come in. She would like, she just doesn't like when the door is closed, which is, which is super weird. <laughs> okay. Where were we? Where were we? Art prints. For printing all of my art, I'm using a Canon Pixma printer. It's a really good quality uh, printer. It can print up to A3 size, which is actually awesome because uh, I can do all my prints at home and I don't have to send them anywhere. And I was, for a long time, I was using the original Canon printer, um, like toners, inkjets. Uh, but when I started doing a lot of stationery, it just, I just thought that it's actually a little bit waste of money because the Canon inks are really expensive and I wanted to try um, like the substitutes and I ordered for a, like a Polish uh, company and they turn out just the same. <laughs> Like, there is no difference in quality of printing, so I just stick to them. There's, like, I don't see a point in buying Canon inks anymore. The other ones are, like, twice or three times cheaper and have exactly the same colors and gives the same results. So, first of all, I'm exporting all the files as a... Uh, PSD files so I can open them in Photoshop and don't lose any quality Now I need to open them all in Photoshop and do any adjustments that are needed I'm going to print them uh, in a five size for photography but they will also be available in a shop in the sizes are a4 and a3 <music> when i was uh, first uh, starting to create uh, art prints. I bought a lot of different papers to just uh, try them out and see how the print looks and it actually like and the, per the paper actually makes a really big difference the colors can look really dull on some papers and some like really really saturated on the others those are like exactly the same illustrations with just different print settings and different paper and I also needed a lot of tries <laughs> to get the print to look exactly like I wanted it because like I said sometimes it just turned out too saturated or sometimes like the colors were blank and uh, and dull. So the, at the end I started using the uh, white uh, 300 GSM paper which uh, gives a really lovely results and it's very thick uh, so the artwork doesn't bend or it's, it's a better uh, protected. For the bigger prints I like to use this uh, matte photo paper. This gives a really, really lovely quality and the paper is really nice in touch. It's uh, this color palette. It actually turns out almost exactly like I see on the screen. So this is just perfect. I really wanted to use uh, recycled paper in my shop and do all the prints on the recycled paper but I've tried a lot of them and the colors are okay now I like how the colors look like I actually print all of the prints for myself on the recycled paper 
But the problem with this one, it's it's like this is an off-white paper. It's here's the like 100% white, and this is a little bit of white with, which actually gives a pretty result. But I noticed that I did a one print on this, and I was holding it uh, in my hands, and a, a drop of water from my wet hair just dropped on the print, and the ink just erased from this spot. So like it turned out like you can just put a tiny little bit of water and the ink is erasing so i thought this is like this is not a quality that I, that i want to offer to people and even though it looks like nice if everything is correct then i don't want to risk that even a tiny drop of water can totally destroy the print so unfortunately i couldn't use this well, this was my favorite paper, but I couldn't use it. Um, I have now how the how the one with the gold is acting with water. I actually have not not checked it, but um, I just thought it was too much in my shop to give people all of these choices of paper which are actually hard to show on the internet how they look like so i just decided i'm going to set on one paper for each illustration and this is just going to be easier for me for customers and and yeah so i've got these 300 grams i've got the canon matte photo paper for all the art prints and i also use other papers for like thank you cards which mostly this recycled paper and for my uh, business cards but those two I'm yeah th those those two I mainly use for art prints okay so the paper is one thing but the other thing is uh, all of the settings so I'm going to show you all the settings that I use. I use the same settings for all of the paper papers. It's like they have tiny little differences, but they're not that visible to like make me want to change them. So uh, I just use the same settings. And I today I'm going to print uh, only A5, so I'm going to use the 300 GSM white paper. Okay, let's let's print. Okay, so I've opened all of the illustrations in Photoshop already. I have the camper one, the hiking and the underwater one. And these three I'm going to print uh, as A5 size now. And the other ones, they just don't look that great in the like portrait mode or landscape. So I'm going to leave them in a square. And they also will be available in a couple of sizes. But the like a composition is more square. So it just looks better this way. And there's those few ones. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is create an A3 file, which is here and I imported all of these little A5 ones uh, I had a place for a fourth one so I just put the, another camper I used these uh, guides to help me set it correctly and yeah and now what I need to do is go to file print and set all of the settings for printing so first of all I make sure it's a uh, landmade portrait here and I'm going to print settings. I'm choosing printing photography on matte, matte photo paper and A3 size. And then I'm setting a, a printing quality to high. And the other thing I do is here is the option printing without border. I've checked it off because when it's checked in, 
the print is like slightly few millimeters but it's slightly shrinked so the white border that is all the way around it's not that regular as I so I like at least I think it worked this way it worked this way with the stickers so I hope it's going to work this way as well now and yeah so this is my uh, the main settings and there are the most important settings are color management the first thing is that uh, it needs to be set to Photoshop manages colors and then I'm setting the printer profile to uh, MP2 there are quite few to choose from but this one just works best for me it works with my paper and gives me a really nice result so I'm setting it to MP2 and for normal printing and uh, here I choose saturation when I when it was normally a relative color colorimetric, but the colors were really dull and it just didn't look that great. So when I pick saturation, I just get the result that is almost the same as on the screen, which is actually perfect. So yeah, other than that, there is just I just set the position to center and uh, scale to one hundred percent and we can print okay so i need to put the paper in the printer now i have a printer in a different room because it works on wi-fi and uh, um and the signal in this room is not that great so i had to have a printer in another room so see you there <laughs> All, all prints are ready and I actually at the end uh, shrinked a little bit uh, these guys because um, like the printer is not printing printing exactly as I wanted it so when I like put 97% scale or it was like 98 it, it just gave a better result and also I had some problems with like leaving this tiny black mark here so I had to like clean the printer first and it actually still leaves this black line here I have no idea why this is happening it also happened on all of them I think I have to like I have to look for some methods to clean it so it, it doesn't make this mark for the square ones it's actually not that big of a problem because they have a lot of margin margin on the both sides so it won't have it won't appear but for these ones well I just get this few ones will be seconds sometimes or I will just leave them for myself. <laughs> uh, I definitely need to figure out how to how to clean it. But yeah, print turned out super cute and super beautiful. The colors are really lovely. I just need to cut them now and then I can make a photo shoot.
hello back on the next day I finished uh, printing cutting everything and it's already for a photo shoot I also already did some uh, some mock-ups of the illustrations I'm going to show you how they look it all turned out really nicely the travel illustrations look so great on these uh, mock-ups I'm also thinking of doing like a set of two for them like in here but yeah I still need to photograph the seekers and I want to make some reels for the Instagram and I've been having a kind of like love-hate relationship more hate-hate relationship with Instagram for the last few days I've started doing reels because apparently you cannot grow an Instagram without doing video content now but the reels like I put the first one a couple of weeks ago um, the reels are still not available in Poland so there is like a walk around on the iPhone that I can actually add them but I don't have any statistics or stuff like this I just can see how much how many people see um, how many views there are there is and how many likes and that's it and so I posted my first one a couple of weeks ago and it had like uh, two and a half thousand views which was like awesome and then I started posting new ones they turn off this walk around then I found another one so I can still post them and I started posting them like for the past couple of days and they have like less than a hundred views and I just I just don't know what to do with this Instagram it really is a lot of work to like keep doing it and it seems for like the only way to grow is to pay for ads which is pretty expensive and and I'm not there earning that much that I could spend a lot of money on the ads and yeah I'm just like putting a new illustration every day for the September of characters because this is still a lot of fun and actually a lot of people joined me and this is like a good thing about it I can talk to other artists and and stuff like this but honestly I just I just don't know what to do with this one I spent so much time and energy and create a lot of content but I don't know I don't know if you remember but I started a new account because my old one was basically dead it was part of my fault as well because I was not posting constantly and like consistently and I had long breaks I like didn't care much I mean I cared a lot about that account but I didn't put a lot of work in in it so I decided to start a new one which I think now that might have been a bad idea but like we're half a year later almost and well I grew to one to 500 followers so far I I don't know I guess we'll see what's what's next but back to the Etsy shop and back to prints and back to the shop update <laughs>
happy now? I just finished editing all the photos and I also created all the drafts for listing for tomorrow. I set the countdown on uh, Instagram for shop update. So I also need to like create, uh, create some graphics for my Insta stories to let people know about the, the update. And that's basically it. I think all is, like, all is ready. It took me an entire day today, but I'm really happy about all of the design uh, results. The prints turned out beautiful and and I hope people will like it. I actually love them so. Okay, so I think that's it for this week's vlog. I also had a plan to like order some polymer clay because I want to start doing clay pins and I also have other ideas but You'll see it later if anything will turn out. Um, but yeah, I did a big research today. Uh, all of the stuff is like not easy to find. Uh, it's not easy to find all of the stuff I wanted. So I need to order from a couple of shops. And I hope next week I can make some clay pins with you. So yeah we'll see how it goes anyway thank you so much for watching if you like my art and my videos please make so sure to subscribe to my channel it really helps me grow uh, my little business here and i'm super super grateful for all the views and all the all of the subscriptions i'm getting and yeah thank you so much and see you in the next video bye bye